my friend, here we are back with another rack of nine ball, nine ball patterns. And we're gonna start with the break. Try to get the best break possible. Okay, decent cue ball line. Uh, nothing went down. So I'm gonna start with ball in hand on the one ball. And we'll see what comes up after that. Now I can see main problem in this rack is the four ball being blocked by the nine. So what that means is I'm gonna to have to get a, a real good angle on the three ball so I can drift down in here for the four or, or stun run depending. But ideally I wanna be pretty close to straight just a little bit on this side of the three. And the one ball, it's already on a good line. The tangent line is close to being on the proper angle on the two ball to get me where I want to be on the three. So I'd like to be right about in here as far as my angle is concerned. So I'll just put the cue ball right here, pick the spot with my eye. Alright, so come over here, take a, take a look where I want to be. Don't forget that spot. Okay. It's actually not bad. So, what I want to do, I'm going to go to the rail after I make the three and come out here so I have an angle on the four. So when I make it down in the corner, I can come off the rail over here for the five in the side, if I want to do that. Or I could even just play right over here, which gives me a pretty big margin of error. If I want, I could even slow roll the three and stay close to the rail. And I'll have an automatic angle over here. So I'm gonna decide on that right now. Okay, you know what, I'll do that. I'll just roll over right by the rail. That's probably the wrong shot. I really had to slow roll it too much, and now I don't have much angle on the four. So let's do it again. Okay, that was an example of the wrong shot, I believe, in that case. I'm gonna hit this one a little bit harder. Watch how I should end up with a nice, nice angle. bother shooting the five inside I'm just gonna come across here and I don't want to be straight I'd like to be right over here so I can come off the rail okay. it's not the end of the world if I'm straight which I basically am but if I roll down to here I'm still gonna be off the rail and I can come one, two rails right up here for the seven ball. So this isn't bad, but it's a little bit better down here. If you want to walk over and check your angle, I'm just going to roll it forward a few inches. There we go. That's perfect. Now a little bit of high left. And if I, could, if I come down here below the seven, it'll be a perfect angle. I just don't want to come down too far. So if I go one, two, right on this line to the seven, I do have a bigger margin of error to where I can make the seven and still have an angle to come off the bottom rail out here. So it's really a matter of choice. And if I'm straight in, it's fine too because I can draw back to this rail. So I'm gonna play to get on this side of the seven. So what happened, okay, I ended up on pretty much straight to this side of the pocket. So I can, I can draw back, kind of force draw it, and then play the two rail shot on the eight for the nine. And I can even shoot to that side of the pocket if I want to get real close to the eight, and draw it back here. It's just a matter of personal preference. If I had to, I could go three rails. I mean, there's so many options when the table is open, but I'm just gonna force draw it back to here. Okay. Now that 
that's about a perfect angle to go with two rails. Two rails for the nine, just, just about right in here, a little right. Thank you.